everyone, welcome back to my channel, Stella Rosella, where I talk about the latest Asian drama, music, and shows. Today, I want to talk about Zhang Hai Hua, which is Adventure Behind the Bronze Door. So let's get into it. So this story, if you are familiar with the ultimate note, um, uh, Dangmu Biji, Zhongji Biji, uh, Sa Shahai, all these like different dramas, it come from the same world, same author, and it really talks about the three characters, uh, Wu Xie, Zhang Qiling, and Pang Zi, like the Tie San Jiao, like the three of them, but it really also talks about other like adventures and things that they went through. So this story, Zhang Hai Hua, really focuses on Zhang Qiling, like who he is, like if you want to know more about who he is and everything, this is like the story that focuses on him. So for me, I know that a lot of people uh, have been waiting for this drama because it's been like two years, so finally this drama is out. Uh, for me personally, because I didn't read the like Tamu Biji, but I've watched the dramas, like the previous ones before, and I know Zhang Qiling. But I don't really know much about him other than he's he doesn't really talk much. He's very quiet. He's very secretive in Zhang Jia, this like whole family is like very secretive. Nobody really knows much about them. So first off with the characters, uh, Wu Xie, Zhang Qiling, and Pang Zi. Even though um, Zhang Qiling and Wu Xie is a different actor that play these characters. Pang Zi, I've seen this character, this actor play him before, so I was like, okay. Um, but it's always interesting because Wu Xie is always the one that starts narrating the story. So I was like, okay, it's you again, and you and your store and everything. I was like, okay, fine. And for me, I was not surprised by like everything that they went through in this drama because first off, in these stories, they meet all these different creatures and these different things so I wasn't really like scared of what happens in there because I was like okay this is not unusual this is like not new so first off in the way in the beginning you meet um two people from Zhang Jia which is Zhang Hai Ke and Zhang Hai Xin these two siblings the brother and sister in Zhang Hai Ke they actually grew up with Zhang Qiling so they know more about you know when he was younger and everything but they know Wu Xie is like Zhang Qiling's good friend as well so for me when you look into like the past of how Zhang Qiling and his little team like when you know they reach a certain age they have to go on this like mission thing sort of like a test who can survive basically the kids who will come back alive with what they want basically this like test that they have to go through I was surprised and sort of not surprised by how Zhang Hai Ke and Zhang, Zhang Hai Xing, like how they acted like when they met Wu Xie and how they were when they were like teenagers. I don't know, for some reason I wasn't surprised by how they were so mean to Zhang Qiling and everything. For some reason, I think it's because Zhang Qiling, he's always been a quiet person, he doesn't really talk much. But in this drama, Zhang Qiling actually talks more than the other Zhang Qilings that you know, you probably noticed. And I was like, oh wow, because that really, I was like, oh, so this Zhang Qiling talks more than just like one word like answers. So I was like really excited to hear him talk and sort of like see like this, I guess, family, this environment that he grew up in. So in this drama, there are a lot of fight scenes. Um, that's really what got me as well, especially when Zhang Qiling and the other Zhang Jia Haizi, when they went in to do their little mission, they were fighting and the, the needle and how he tilted his head like both ways. I was like, oh, that is amazing. I mean, okay, but other than that, I mean, Zhang Haixu was, you know, my favorite actress. I love her a lot. The the actress that plays Zhang Haixu, I love her. That's one of the reasons why I started to watch this drama as well. And so it was really cool to see her do her fight scenes and I was like, she's so amazing for me. I'm just like fangirling the whole time. But obviously Doug Teeling, um, he did an amazing job as well. So I was just like, I love the fight scenes in this drama and I was just like, yeah. So when this drama started, I wasn't really into the drama that much until I learned how Zhang Qiling because I didn't know he was the Zhang Jia Jia Zhu, like 
Zhu Zhang. Like he was the leader of his clan, and he's the last one. So I was like, how does he always be the last one? And the moment that I found out how his name came to be Zhang Qiling. So Qiling, this uh word, it means like move a coffin or the ashes of the dead to a burial place. Burial place. So, um, that's what that means. And Zhang Qiling is basically, I don't actually even know Xiao Ge's real name, but his this Zhang Qiling is not his name. It's the title. Like anybody can be Zhang Qiling, and it's the title of like whoever becomes the Zhu Zhang. And so for me, I was like, I cried when he became the leader, and how that whole celebration that these people had. And how they forced him to become the leader because they know that whoever becomes the leader, they get the antidote to this like family like、um, disease that they have from you know their memory that、uh, dealing with their memory. That person that sticks the staff in, they may not live. So they don't. Nobody wants to be the Zhu Zhang, okay? So they forced Zhang Qiling, saying that. Since you want to know more about who you are, your parents and everything, becoming the Zhu Zhang is a possibility. It's a way for you to、uh, find out more about you know who your parents are. And I got so mad when this whole thing happened because first off, the Zhu Zhang is sort of like because he's like I give you like the you know the elder told him like I give you. Few days to think about it. You have to think clearly about it. It's sort of like I didn't force you to become the Zhu Zhang. So another part of the drama that really got me was when Zhang Qiling actually meets his mom, and they be, they're just like sitting together, and him just seeing his mom, and being together for three days. That really got me. For some reason, it just like got me because Zhang Qiling for his whole life he's been wanting to know more about who his mom is, who these like where he came from. Why is he here? He doesn't really know much about you know his parents, and he finally gets to meet Bai Ma, his mother. And you know, in Zhang Jia, you can only marry people within your you know within your family. It just got me like his mom teared, and he just like for a first time in his life, he felt you know this emotion that he's never felt before in his life, and he has it. And I was just like, I cried during that scene. I was like. So if you watch the previous dramas before and you know about like the ten years in the previous dramas, you don't see them, you know, Xiao Ge coming out of the Jing Tong Men. But in this one, you see Xiao Ge coming out of the Jing Tong Men and meeting with、uh, Wu Xie and Pang Zi. So that was really exciting because if you read the book Shi Nian, you see that part. But like in finally, you know, being you know finally made into a drama, that whole like sequence. And I was like, oh, finally we get to see Zhang Qiling and Wu Xie meet like after ten years. Like, seeing that on screen is just like, oh my god. So overall, this drama I do like it. I think because in some way we get some kind of closure, especially like when Xiao Ge sees、uh, Wu Xie outside of the Qing Tong Men. They meet ten years later, and another scene towards the end is when they move to a. You know, rural area, the village, and just live together, and you know, just like retire in some way, retire. So I feel like that was sort of like a closure to a lot of people and seeing that happening, and、um, yeah, and I do like the story, and I feel like the person that plays Zhang Qiling did a very good job. Zhang Changle, he did an amazing job, and all the other actors, obviously, that play the other characters, did a very good job as well. But I feel like. Zhang Qiling's character is very. I feel like it's a lot of pressure for the people that play this character. So because like this character, he's very like. Like he has a lot, you know, going on, and not only like when he doesn't talk, you I don't know. There's like these emotions that you feel when he, when you see him, and、um, this part, this Zhang Qiling, he. You see that he's very like. He's very strong in some way, and very like you know people rely on him, and you know that when he's there, like everything's fine and okay, and so yeah, and also, <laughs> so I got the book. I got the book. I finished reading it. Um, the last two chapters are 
related to uh Damu Biji. But this uh Zhang Hai Hua is not finished yet. Um and the author San Shu, he did did they did a, a a stream when the drama like went live. And they he talked about how while they were filming this drama, he did a lot of like Stuff that wasn't in the book, he added into the script, but then they had to cut so much out. Um, and then also, like he did say, the ending of the drama and everything is sort of like because he didn't, he hasn't finished the, he hasn't finished writing the book yet. Okay, this is only part one of the book. Okay, and um, he said that the ending of the book, like he didn't write, but this is like sort of the ending that he wants for this book. So I guess like in some way that wraps up sort of like. The whole, in some way, um, this world, and I just want to share with you guys. So this is how the book looks like. So I thought this is like this is how the book looks like, but when you like open it up like this, it's like another inside. It's such a beautiful cover, and it's so beautiful. So this is how also it looks inside the title of the book, and then. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. And so, they, these are like the chapters, like how they look like. It's so good. Anyways, and I read it, like, I finished reading it within like two days. But anyways, um, let me know what you think of this drama, what you think of the characters, and what do you think of the ending, if you've watched the ending already. Uh, I feel like it was such a, like a closure for in, for me, and if you know like how they retire and they live in this village, um, San Shu actually wrote like books on like you know their life in the village, their retirement life, and right now there's actually a play going on in um in China about their and part of that story. So I was like, oh, I wish I could go see it. But anyways, um, let me know what you think of this drama. If you like this video, uh, please like give a like to this video if you want to see videos like this please subscribe to the channel and i'll see you the next one bye bye